How the folks and Scott and today we are going to subject ourselves to Star Trek. We are in fact going to go where no crap has gone before and I actually really, really hate myself for making that pun but it had to be done. I mean it couldn't, it could not be done. If I didn't do the pun I'd, I'd be just as bad as the game itself. Okay, so um, as far as title screens go it's fairly authentic. It looks like the bridge from the movie. It's got the lens flares. It's got a lot of lens flares, so let's press start. Well, they've certainly nailed the sexual tension. He really doesn't want to meet my gaze. He seems really uncomfortable. Hi, right. right, it's okay, it's okay. I'm just I'm being friendly. Oh, for fuck's sake. And Kirk's doing his, uh, his thinking. He's somewhere between thinking and uh, doing his catalogue stare in the distance. There's Bones uh, in the background going, what the fuck am I doing here? There's a cat meowing in the background. He won't come up here, you know, for a cuddle, but he'll meow in the background, won't you, Opie? Come here, bear. Come here, Opie bear. Oh, yeah. Hi. Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give him an inch. Well, this is weird. Uh, it makes me kind of feel like I've missed something. Like, all this is happening with no uh, setup. No context, just, oh, you're fighting now. Great. And and now I'm not. That literally made no, no sense. Well, this escalated very quickly. I'm really puzzled. I mean, if you want to set up a, oh god, they're fighting eight hours earlier thing, that, that's fine, but... Why did we need literally... 20 seconds of out of context gunplay, which I didn't actually have to do. That's the thing. It would have just ended and gone to the cutscene, so I literally didn't have to do anything. So it makes no sense. Oh, they're holding hands. Oh, it's just like all the fanfic you wrote. He's not subtle, is he? I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. The normal space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sulu, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. My question is not that the solar collectors are unlike anything you've seen, and not that, you know, the Federation or Starfleet doesn't have a record of it. If the space station would have been fried by the radiation, how is the shuttlecraft fine? How did how did you get back? How does anybody get from the station to other places? Because presumably it needs supply drops, so... This is a badness. I love how the rest of the station's fall into bits, but the control room is perfect. Nothing wrong with it. Not even slightly. Not a scratch. What also gets me here is... There's a solar shield there, right? That's meant to stop all the radiation. But I can use this as cover. This apartment, this little bit of glass is fine. I also don't know why we're not using our invulnerable shuttle to do this. I mean, the shuttle got here fine, it got past all this radiation. With no shielding whatsoever. Why can't we just do this in the shuttle? I'm really, really confused as to why we can't just, you know, take the fucking car. Because, you know, it got there fine. Those bits of glass I'm hiding behind are fine. Why the fuck do I have to walk? way forward is to shut down the core's rings. To do this, you will need to work together. One of you must scan the control console to stop the ring. This will allow the other person to engage the locking mechanism. That's the locking mechanism. Spock can slow down the ring long enough, I can shoot. This seems like a very convoluted way of doing a manual shutdown. I mean, when they designed it, did they specifically say, right, in the event of a manual shutdown, one of you is going to have to shoot the fucker. That seems highly, especially amongst Vulcans, that seems highly, highly unlikely. Again, why can't we take the shuttle? It's not like there aren't spacesuits in the shuttle. It's not like we couldn't leave the shuttle or have the shuttle positioned behind the shields. None of this makes sense. Captain, life support is now at 4% and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to be out. So how come Kirk can make the transporters work, but Vulcan scientists can't? 
There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. Well, no, if Scotty can get a lock in you, how come they couldn't detect all the people there and get a lock in them? Right, why, why does the female captain's boots have fucking high heels on them? What practical purpose does that serve? How do you sprint with magnetic boots on, by the way? How do you bounce off? You have to... That genuinely makes no sense. How can you sprint when you're using mag boots? You can't bounce, you can't really jump. You sort of have to pull one then the other. So how on earth can you sprint? Why would mag books work on glass? How does any of this make sense? Oh look! Now the shuttle! Now the fucking shuttle! So, instead... Instead of using the shuttle to save everyone... It was just hiding out of sight somewhere, because apparently it's immune to these solar rays. I am the worst captain ever!